So I want to quickly summarize our overall development to production workflow. And I want to quickly reiterate how we actually push changes uh, from our development environment to our production environment. So whenever we make any kind of change to our code base, the first thing that we do is we push it out to GitHub. And then once we push it out to GitHub, our production server will log in and then we'll do a git pull, which is going to pull that new code base in. And then once we get the updated code, what we're going to do is we're going to run the Docker compose up dash dash build. And that's going to trigger a rebuild of the node image. And then once we build the image, we can then rebuild a brand new node container using that new node image. So there's a couple of different issues uh, with this development to production workflow. And the main issue is that we're building our image on our production server. <clears throat> this is something that is never recommended. You should never be building your image on your production server. And that's because building an image takes resources. It takes uh, CPU cycles and it takes memory. And for our application, it's obviously a tiny demo application. So it doesn't take that much CPU horsepower to actually build that image. But as your application grows, right, it's going to require larger and longer build times. And so, you know, as that application grows, you're going to see that when you build an image, it's going to take more CPU and it's going to take more memory. So if you do this on a production server, you could end up starving uh, your actual production traffic because all of the compute power and all of your memory is going towards building an image. And your production server should only be meant for one thing, and that is just to handle production traffic. It should never be doing anything else. So what I ultimately want to do is move away from this development workflow and work, move towards a workflow that allows us to build an image on a machine that's not our production server. So let's take a look at the production workflow that we're ultimately going to move to. All right, so in this workflow, uh, the main idea is that we're no longer going to build that image on our production server. So what's going to happen is the engineer on the left, he's going to build an image on his dev server. So he builds it on his dev server using a Docker compose up dash dash build. Uh, and so that's going to trigger a build on his local machine. Once that's done, he's going to push that brand new built image to Docker Hub. So Docker Hub is just a repository of images. You can use any Docker repository. It doesn't have to be Docker Hub. You can use Amazon's repo uh, repository. Um, but, you know, when we demo this, we're just going to use Docker Hub because it's free. So we'll push that image to Docker Hub. And then our production server, we're going to do a, uh, we're going to pull that brand new node image. So we're pulling in the finalized image with all of the new code changes. And then all we have to do is do a Docker Compose up. Docker Compose is going to detect that there's a brand new image for our node container or our node service. And that's going to trigger a rebuild of the node container using the brand new node image. So this is the workflow that we are going to move towards. And you can see that by building it on the dev server, we no longer have to build it on our production server. So next video, we're going to actually go ahead and implement this. And I'm going to show you guys how much better of a workflow this actually is.